Hi. Uh, yeah, my name is Jamie. Um, from Graphcore, company based in Bristol, three-year-old startup doing uh, machine learning chips for server class stuff. Um, this talks about a small tool that I've written that's been quite useful. Might be of interest to some people here. So, background motivation that uh, synthesized logic loses much of its correspondence with the uh, RTL as you push it through the back-end flow. Um, it's then difficult to correspond timing issues that you have uh, back to the RTL. Uh, but doing this is obviously important because you need to be able to fix uh, paths that are uh, critical to the design. Um, so you want to identify where they are and you want to avoid uh, speculate, speculative fixes. Um, so <laughs> here's an example. This is actually a kind of, this is taken from a, a real path, a um, bit simplified. Um, you can see that you, you have some named points like a clock gen and start and end registers, but everything in the middle is kind of, you know, automatically generated names. I mean, you can say something perhaps about the intervening logic in the, in the names, but uh, not much. Uh, so tool which uses Verilator to produce a flattened netlist of Verilog design, um, and then it provides you ways to query uh, paths similar to ICC2, if anyone's used that. Um, you know, fan, between two points, fan in, fan out, through particular points, matches names with regexes, so you can get around the flattened names that you have in the back end. It's written in C++. Uh, just an example, N NVIDIA Deep Learning Accelerator core that they released a couple of years ago. Uh, thought I'd try it on that. Um, here's a path report, all the paths fanning into a particular register, so you can see it goes for a whole bunch of modules. Uh, these are all the intermediate names of the nets. Uh, here's another one. This time it reports all of the intermediate logic uh, as well. Uh, so these things can get quite complicated, so it's, it's useful to trace through the design. Uh, as I say, it's a very, very simple tool. It didn't take me long to write. You know, it's just a spare, spare time thing. Uh, so there's lots of more things to do with it. Um, one thing that would be good is improve the data flow analysis and Verilator so you can actually link uh, variables uh, together rather than at the moment it just does it at block process level. Um, and it's <laughs> the, the, net, the net list for the, for the NVIDIA thing was 700 megabytes. So <laughs> avoiding the startup cost if you're doing lots of queries quickly. Uh, upstreaming the Verilator changes would be good. Um, save having to maintain a version of Verilator and build it. Uh, yeah, so it's open source, so it's, yeah, it's on my GitHub. Uh, there's a few more details. And uh, yeah, get in touch if you're interested.